bottom line, seriously now, if you're going to get sick on a ship, have your insurance company make sure that you're already covered. And many people's health insurance doesn't necessarily cover them the minute they leave the continental United States. So you got to double check that. Well, Peter, also it's good to get insurance if, if there's any reason why you may not take the cruise. Yeah, let's talk about that too because a lot of cruise lines will sell you that insurance. It's called trip cancellation and interruption insurance. But I'm one of those people who believes, and tell me if you want to disagree with this, never buy it from the cruise line itself. I've never bought it by, from the cruise line itself. No, a lot I used of people to go do. through travel card or a company like that. Yeah, I'll tell you why. Because if for any reason, we've had this happen about 10 years ago, if the cruise line goes out of business, so does your insurance. Yeah, forget it. You're done. Also, I happen to think, and, and if anybody's watching from a cruise line wants to disagree with me, it's petergreenberg.com or www.petergreenberg.com. Email me because I've read those policies, and the policies offered by the cruise lines are somewhat more draconian than the policies offered by third-party insurance companies. Yeah, I've actually, I've actually had to cash in on a policy one time. Because Tell me I, what happened. Well, I had to cancel a cruise. Um, a relative died, and I went to the company I bought it from and said, this is what happened, and I got repayment almost immediately. Because it was a third party. It was a third party. It wasn't right. the cruise line. Yeah. We, we need to tell everybody this, that, and I can't think of an exception. If you can, tell me. Cruise ship refund policies within 30 days of the cruise start with a D and end with an N. It's called draconian. You're not going to get anything back. <laughs> no, it's tough. It's very tough. It's tough. And there are, there are different policies. Let's call, it, let's, let's call it what it is. There are some uh, trip cancellation interruption policies that allow you to cancel if somebody dies or if there's weather or if the cruise ship itself cancels an itinerary. But there are very few policies that allow you to cancel just because you didn't want to go. Yeah. Now, there are some, but you pay a higher premium. Like Access America has one, I think it's like 13 or 14% of the actual cost of the cruise. Sure. But you know what? If, if you think that you're going to be about to take a cruise and you have a, a close relative who's not feeling particularly well or has some medical issues, and you're worried, you know what? You might want to buy that kind of policy. Exactly. 